Hey, don't miss the pet show tomorrow. Lots of real important information to talk about. Always plenty of time to answer all of your pet and animal questions. You know, it's important to understand that your dog's behavior and their body language are pretty much the only way that our dogs know how to communicate with us. There may be some other ways, but that's primarily the way they communicate. I'm gonna take a look at how to tell when your dog is either fearful or in pain or afraid. It's important for every pet guardian to know that. Very often we misread our dog and we correct our dog or we get angry or upset with our dog. We don't really understand what's going on. We're gonna talk about that on the show tomorrow. Important for everyone to understand. Also coming up, fireworks, 4th of July around the corner. Did you know that fireworks can actually cause increased heart rates, hyperventilation, stress hormones among our dogs and our cats. Tomorrow I'm going to share my tips, my top tips for helping your dog cope with the 4th of July and in the future other noises as well. And for my feline lovers out there, cats love to groom themselves. They spend the primary time during the day grooming, grooming, grooming. But the over-grooming cat, what's that all about? When does your cat's normal grooming become excessive? I'll tell you on the show tomorrow. I do a lot of interviews during the week. And this week I was asked a question and it caught me a bit off guard and I kind of hesitated to respond. The question was, Warren, is the love for your pets the same as the love for people? Do you love your pets the same way you love people or do you love your pets in a different way? Is the love for dogs and cats different than the love for human beings? I'll give you my response, but I really want to get a take on yours because it was kind of an interesting question and I kind of had to hesitate a little while to answer it plenty of time to answer all of your pet and animal questions. That's what we do on the pet show. We help you resolve issues that you may be having with your dogs and cats, a lot more likely issues that your dogs and cats are having here. So what I'll be doing is probably tomorrow morning, I'll post all the different ways you can listen to the pet show live. You can watch the pet show live on my YouTube channel. By the way, you should subscribe. YouTube.com slash Warren Eckstein. YouTube.com slash Warren Eckstein. If you want to catch archive shows or listen to old shows, you can always either go to my website, thepetshow.com, or listen to the archive shows on YouTube as well. So until tomorrow, you all know what to do by now. Give all your pets a big hug and a kiss for you, one between the ears for me. I'm Warren Eckstein. I'm looking forward to talking to you all on The Pet Show tomorrow.